What is up guys, Zach Scott here, playing Animal Crossing New Horizons. I hope you guys are enjoying the Island Tour series. Uh, we're uploading the second episode today. We check out a fantastic five-star island. Uh, this episode, though, I don't know what's going to happen. We'll find out. Right now in Astoria, it's 2.24 p.m. on Wednesday, April 15th. Is there really no news for me to share today? Guess so, but give yourself a pat on the shoulder, folks. You've made it halfway through the week. <laughs> Let's finish strong. Well, then Isabel's signing off. <laughs> <laughs> She's got the chillest job ever. She just has to like report on the news. <laughs> Basically like and only when I check in for like one time a day and oftentimes there's no news. I got some packages though. I actually I have something really cool to show you and uh, oh yeah, I know what this is. My phone is ringing. Uh, I, I deposited a bunch of stuff in the box last night. Hello, this is Tommy from Nook's Cranny. We've sent a payment to your bank for 17,000 bells. Great, thank you for using this service. Hope to see you in the shop soon. So my announcement, I, I did a lot last night, uh, just kind of, and I'll just show you the results. Uh, but one, I, uh, let me use the mic. One, I caught a, uh, check it out, I caught this. Uh, where is it? I caught a fly. There was a, I, tr I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. And there was a fly on this can. I caught it. I wish I had recorded it. I, th I really thought I was recording. And then another thing, I was just fishing because uh, I had a, uh, it was nighttime. I had a, like a daily challenge to catch fish, right? So I'm just fishing. I didn't even know there was anything new for me to catch. And I caught uh, this barrel eye. So I'm going to turn that in as well uh, to blathers. I have shells just in case there was a daily for shells. I shook the cherries off of my tree. I got a stego tail uh, from uh, the from Liz, who I toured her island. We're, we're having Liz's video today, and so uh, I'm gonna turn that into blathers. That's a couple things for blathers, right? And then uh, what are these? I think that's no. I don't like those. I'm gonna move this up here. <laughs> I'm gonna take those off really quick, and then um, yeah, there we go. This is the outfit I've been using when I go to people's towns. Anyway, uh, let's see. I, I got mail. Let's see what all I got today. Uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, lots of stuff. Holy cow. Um, so wow, okay, Liz sent me a thing. Uh, what, what was this? Thank you so much for coming over. I want to express my appreciation for all that you do for me. That's why I decided to get you this gift. I hope you like your shiny new plasma ball. Awesome, thank you, Liz. And uh, we're gonna go place on the pocket. So one of the benefits of doing this uh, five-star island tour series is people send me gifts now. <laughs> uh, Ashley, Cat will be so pleased. What is this? What is this? Place in my pocket, we'll find out. Let's go one by one. Whoa, whoa, you can favorite them? That's weird. Um, Because I don't have a lot of space. In fact, I might have to come back to the mailbox soon. Present, open up the present. Plasma ball, and then Ashley sent me a cat cap. Oh, now I can look like cat when she moves in. Perfect. I'm just gonna keep that on for the day. The big thing I wanna show you guys is I finished my courtyard, and this is incredible. Uh, you better believe it's incredible. Uh, I spent a lot a lot of time. It looks similar to where we last left off uh, But it's like done done now. It's like I it took me like a couple hours to do which is I, I, I'm just keeping you guys in suspense It took me a couple of hours to do the reason is because I'm just testing out different patterns different different things and I I finally have finalized what I want to have uh, Amy from from the town that I visited the first episode of the five-star island tour sent me a, a fence uh, that I learned and I'm just gonna show you now let's walk over <laughs> let's go faster also I, I relocated these oh is he, is he thinking about moving out question for you Zach what lies beyond the shimmering sea oh that's a great question chops it never used to bother me but now I feel like I need to find out you never know where you'll find your next great business idea <laughs> good luck with that chops well there it is I guess I'm leaving thanks for everything Zach this isn't something to be sad about like when your favorite TV show gets canceled it's something to be cautiously excited about, like when your favorite TV show changes time slots. <laughs> All right, that's great news. Chops is moving out. I moved. I moved these just slightly. I thought. I think that this is too close. I, I don't know if we're gonna put them here, keep them here. But uh, I like the idea of just being able to walk out on the beach if you want to. Uh, but check it out. Uh, what do you think about this? Does this look good? I think this looks pretty good, right? Maybe not. Maybe not. I realize that fencing, you, can, you can't really put it on the edge edge, so I probably won't have fence here. If I were smarter, I would have maybe moved it back one, the whole thing back one, but I'm not that smart. Anyway, <laughs> Able Sisters is here. Chops is leaving. My courtyard is done. Look at my beautiful courtyard. There's a butterfly I want to catch. Look at my beautiful courtyard. Look at this. I got this uh, this this clock from uh, Rocket Raff and uh, from his town. I made these benches. I, I put these trees here. I got more street lights. Everything this looks good, right? I mean, I think it looks good. 
I mean, I'm I'm tooting my own horn here, but I think this looks great, honestly. And so that I I I do like I made do with with the uh, space here. Come on. Oh my gosh! Please, thank you. I'm gonna sell you. All right, and then uh, Nook's Cranny moved in over here, and I knew that this was gonna look kind of odd. Uh, but eventually, this building will upgrade. <laughs> Hold on. Just catch something else. All right, and there's another money tree. Lots of butterflies out right now, and so Nook's Cranny relocated finally, so we have a proper boardwalk type of area. I know I might be using that name incorrectly because it's not made of boards, but still, uh, this is looking pretty good, right? I think this area is super fantastic, and all of my villagers seem to like it. You can sit down here and just chill. Uh, you can also sit up there, but I think this looks wonderful, don't you? I mean, really, I'm, I'm bragging, I'm bragging now, but I mean, like, with the amount of space I have between here and the airport, I think I made a great use of that space. And we have a proper walking area. Uh, when people come to town, Able Sisters and Nook's Cranny are just right here. Uh, I like everything kind of being front and center. And then uh, eventually I'm going to have to make do and figure out, you know, what to do with the rest of my island. But I think the museum is going to go behind uh, this. I might have to reroute some of the water. And that's, gonna, that's giving me kind of a, a little bit of trepidation in a way. Because I don't know exactly how I'm going to do that yet. Uh, but, so yeah, my courtyard is done. Done, 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 done. I, I like it a lot. I'm really happy with it. And uh, and it looks good. I I, I mean, I, I I just keep wanting to walk around it. I, I, I haven't really got to see it in the daytime. Because <laughs> nighttime. And these street lights light up too. And I think I found the perfect placement for them. And I, I relocated the benches to uh, being up and down instead of at the sides because there was really no, it was hard to walk around them, especially once I decided with this design here with the trees in the corner and the street lights here, there was really no space to walk around them. So I put them at the sides and I like that better now because if you're coming out of the airport, you can get directly to uh, this area. I think it's just a really great area. I think I'm really happy with my island right now. Um, and I know it's just such a small part of the island that we have uh, done. So, but I'm liking it. I don't know. Can I put flowers here or something? Do I have flowers on me? No. But we can take a step into Nook's Cranny, sell a couple things, check on turnip prices for my friends, and then, um, yeah. So, courtyard done. Whoa, that's cool. Hello, hello. Welcome to Nook's Cranny. That is super cool. Two super cool things here to buy. Um, what's up, guys? I have some stuff to sell. First, what's, uh, what, what are the turnip prices? Three ninety. That's a good price. Holy cow! I gotta let people know. Uh, that's uh, of course someone else. I gotta let people know. I might have to let people in my town today. Uh, what's hot today? The high value item is the bonfire. Okay, I can make those twice as much for bonfire. So a lot of stuff I want to sell. First up, I want to sell this cat tower. What exactly are you offering? Offering? Uh, well, I got. Uh, oh, I made. I forgot about the signpost I made. I got a moth. <laughs> I got some cherries. I got some Venus combs and that. What is this? Heart shades. I don't think I want those. Do I? I don't know. Got that, that, that. Couple butterflies. Colorful. No. Uh, plasma ball. That, that. Okay, awesome. Awesome. That's a lot of stuff to sell. All right, here we go. And done, uh, 29,000 bells. That's a great deal. Sold. All right. Thank you. Uh, let's uh, take... I want this. I'm interested in the cat tower. Limited supply, so act fast. I'm ready. 3,000. I'm in. I'll buy it. Excellent. And then this will also be for my bathroom. What is this? Is this a urinal? A squat toilet? I've never seen this in my life. But my bathroom is going to have so many different options. <laughs> However you want to sit, stand, or squat, or hover, you're going to be able to eliminate. <laughs> there we go. And this is like a lotto ball thing, right? Some mixers. I also like to check on the wallpapers. Curious about what's inside the cabinet? Yes, indeed. Uh, we got brown shanty, camo, rose wall. That's pretty. Uh, rushed. I just don't know what I want, though. Random square. I don't know, man. I don't think I want, I don't know. I've been trying to buy all the most basic looking things. So there we go. Uh, thank you, thank you. So my courtyard's done. That's the big thing this episode. It's already been revealed. Chops is leaving. Another big thing. I'm so glad he's leaving. Because uh, then I can have Cat come in. Uh, so, um, 
yeah so basically now here let's do this i got a couple things to donate to blathers of course and we're gonna plant ten thousand here and then uh let's see no 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 i'm not gonna hold on <laughs> let's hold up for a second put that away and i'm going to extract ten thousand bells there we go and that's what i'm gonna plant in the hole Right here. There we go. That's how it's done. Very and hole. So yeah, you know, I hope you guys weren't wanting an episode of me just kind of meandering around the courtyard for an hour. Because I was like, I was like Googling sizes of things. I was sending screenshots to friends. I'm like, does this look good? Does this look good? Does this look good? And uh, changing up the walls, you know, changing up the textures is all very, very tedious stuff. And stuff that wouldn't all be on video anyway. So I hope you guys are okay with that. I see a bug up there. Uh, all right, hold on. I don't know if I, if you have to sneak up to these or not, but they're beautiful, and you're mine. <laughs> there we go, an orchid mantis. So we can check the mailbox again. Let's finish filling that that out. My next step is well, let's check out on the date. Let's see what what all we got done today. Uh, so we need to redeem Nook Miles. I can do that. <laughs> complete DIY projects, hit rocks, grow fruit tree, chop wood. So yeah, we're, uh, I don't know, we'll hit rocks at least. Oh, but wait, there's more, there's more. Look, Miles, hold on. Um, What's down here? We got, have a nice DIY. Oh, I finished this one. Clever father, mother. <laughs> All right. Uh, Furniture freshener. Oh, that's for customizing. Unique ex eccentric. All right, and then what's left? What's more? Growing collection. Nice, furniture. There we go, materialistic avatar. And bulletin board benefit, nice. Uh, rumor mongering influencer. I, a lot of people call me an influencer because it's like what they call YouTubers and stuff. So I am an influencer. I guess I have to embrace it. So uh, what all we got here now? So Yashi sent me that. Nook Mileage Program, uh, I got some things from the Nook Mileage Program. Some of them are for me, some of them are not for me. Uh, the street lights are for me, Rockin' KK. Sure, uh, what else we got? Nook Mileage Program, yeah, place in pocket. We'll take a look at these in a second. Place in pocket, and then, yep, yeah, I ordered a lot from there. Place in pocket. <laughs> Uh, Ryan, this is from Yo Bro Island. Oh, nice, Ryan. Hey, sorry for making you go through my bad island of this gift. <laughs> We're gonna have an episode where we tour uh, Ryan's Island uh, eventually. Uh, his was not that bad. <laughs> I want to express my appreciation for all you do. The uh, oh, this is th this is just like a a, a template, right? <laughs> I hope so. But listen, Rose Bay. Does she have a flea? Got it. I caught a flea. The curse is lifted. Should put some medicine on the back of her neck. Ooh, I almost forgot what it's like to not itch all the time. Good thing you're around, kidders. All right. Uh, so let's see what we got here. We got to uh, get my inventories full. Uh, put away, basically. Uh, squat, court, yeah, we know those. Put away. Uh, present. What was this? Teacup right there. That's not for me. Uh, present. Springy right. That's not for me either. This is for Raph, and this is for Amy. Present, uh, what is this? This is my street lamp. I think I ordered like three street lamps. I've been, I keep ordering the street lamps. Was this street lamp, nice. And then this is, what? this is a present from Ryan. An LCD TV, nice, 50 inch, that's big. Open up, and this is a bottled ship. So, I'm, I'm telling you, I, I've been trying to manage my house. My house is never anything to look at when I come in here, right? But, um, you know, uh, <laughs> I put my I put my workbench in here because I've been crafting so much. <sighs> let's store some stuff. Uh, let's put in storage. And then we have uh, the, sign, the signpost I got, I got to figure out what to do with. Uh, the cat tower, I can just place it here. This is what the cat tower looks like. And then, what was the other thing? A squat toilet. So this is, I'm kind of working on this. Don't judge. It's no, nowhere near done. But uh, this is my my uh, bathroom slash kitchen that I'm working on. <laughs> so we could put the squat toilet on the wall here, I guess. Where do you, do you, does it not go on the wall? I guess not. Basically my, you know, 
There you go. What? I've never seen that before. This must be in other countries. <laughs> I've never never seen that before in my life. What do you do? You just, I guess you squat, and I mean, that's... I mean... I get it. <laughs> it's, for, it's for animals. I don't know. Uh, let's see. What we got? Uh, street lamp. Street lamp. Street lamp. Springy ride on. That's not for me. Teacup ride. Not for me. Uh, let me. I guess I'll just store store these for now. So I don't want to carry them around and do something with them accidentally. And then bottled ship. Let's just put that on. Place it. That could, would be a good decoration for a bathroom, I think. And then uh, LCD TV. I don't know where it's gonna go. Maybe I can put it on the wall here above the freezer. So when you're getting your cold meats out, you can. Uh, no. No room. This must go on the ground, which is fine. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm making a mess of everything here. Uh, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> what what else is going to happen today? <laughs> let's, let's figure it out. I'm going to put my TV in here. Thanks, thanks guys. Um, boom. Nice. That well, actually could probably go on a table. Plasma ball. Okay, I can't. Okay, and this is a colorful wheel. Put that in storage. I've been storing my wheels. Okay, I think I'm good. I got three street lamps. I got a plasma ball, which is just gonna go, I think, in the corner here. My goodness, hold on. There's, there are better ways to do everything I'm doing right now. Plasma ball, place it. There we go. And, uh, yeah, I gotta go donate to Blathers. So let's do that. I like my courtyard. What can I say? I like my courtyard. I'm happy Chops is moving out. Go visit Abel really quick. Uh, the Abel sisters, not Abel. <laughs> so yeah, I put these here because I thought like I already had them here, but I moved them back. I, I you know basically grabbed them and and I pulled them back as much as I could, um, so that we could still access the beach and maybe shells can still uh, wash up here. But uh, the the reason I did is like I was just looking like I don't know what what else would go there. It's such a narrow strip, and so I put that there. And I thought that would be kind of a good thing, like a wave breaker, you know, from to keep the Able Sister shop safe. <laughs> I don't know, man. This is an idea I have. Let's talk and see uh, what happens when I talk. Hey there, welcome to Able Sisters, where we sell fashions made lovingly by Klar. And, uh, man, that's a sweet fashion still, still up there. Sup? We ran another tailored shop like this in a different place before we came here. That was a shop our late parents left us. But then Label went on our journey and all of our other friends set off to try new things. So we decided to get a fresh start too. That's how we came to be here on Astoria. And coming here was totally the right call. It's fun, the scenery is great, and you can't beat the neighbors. But I have to admit, I do miss our old store sometimes. I do too. We ran that old place for quite a while, so it's filled with good memories. But it's still there, and we can visit it whenever. So let's just focus on making our new shop even better. So the store's still there? <laughs> good point, sis. Let's keep working hard. Is, 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 are people working there? Good old Mabe. She's really giving it her all. I have to admit, I know uh, just what she means about missing her old shop. But at the same time, I'm so, so glad we came to this island. I finally feel like we have a family again. I'm glad she's, she's opened up. I've been talking to her a lot. Here we go. I do need the fitting room. Here we go. <laughs> there we go. And then, uh, what, uh, kind of a fuzzy vest. That's kind of cool. Uh, old school jacket. Denim painter pants. Oh, wow. Tail coat. I need that. I'm going to wear that out. And do we ever have any... Whoa. Cyber... Hold up. We got cyber suit, too? Okay, I need the cyber suit. <laughs> Clearly. Which one would be best? Maybe... I think the yellow looks best on me. Um, Cyber Shades. It's kind of orangey rather than... Sure, let's go for red. I mean, there's so many choices. I could get the blue and go with the kind of bl the blue Cyber Suit. Again, the colors don't quite match. I think I like the yellow better. Reminds me of Cyrax. I'll go with the yellow shades. Why not? Let's, let's go red. And then, um, man. And then what kind of hat do I want? I guess I don't want a hat. Or maybe I do a dandy hat. I get something that's dandy. That's very dandy. No, um, I don't know, man. This is the, this is always like the hardest part is figuring out what to wear each day. <laughs> 
Uh, let's just buy... I don't want the hat. Yet. Uh, what I'll do, though, is I will get... Oh, those are cool glasses. Alright, let's just purchase this. Yes, please. Cool. Alright, but, but... I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna do it one more time. Because <laughs> I want to wear the more formal thing. I could use that for my hosting duties. I need pants, dude. I don't have... The denim painter pants, they need... No, okay. okay. The, the, they need, like, a different type of pants. The denim painter pants are fine, but I need, like, more formal pants. You know? Can't just be wearing uh, formal tailcoats. And then, like, fringe skirt or jogging shorts, you know? I mean, I could. <laughs> uh, is the dandy cap? I mean, that's kind of looking dandy. That looks real dandy. What about... uh? Dude, I don't know. Hard knit socks. Pleather sneakers, lace up boots. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't, I really don't know. I feel like they don't ever sell exactly what I'm wanting. But that's okay. Sure, that's a good look for me now. It looks good. What about a fedora? No, I don't know. Well, I kind of look like, like, which is more formal. I want to say the dandy cap looks like maybe this. It's an interesting look for sure. But the dandy cap, I think, looks even more interesting. I'm a Yankee Doodle dandy. And then I guess I should wear some pants. I already have... I don't have any of the these jogging shorts. <laughs> the black ones. I don't have the black ones. Here we go. Purchase and oh, wear, wear it out. Yep. Yes, please. Ta-da. Looking sharp. Thanks so much. All right, so we're looking sharp again. I'm spending, I hope I'm spending enough here. I don't know, I don't know what the requirements are. Um, I hear some people saying that you won't get an upgrade unless there's so many days on the Nook's, Nook's Cranny. But I've also, like Ashley hasn't done any time traveling and she already has, uh, you know, the upgraded Nook's Cranny. So I don't know what the deal is with that. So uh, let's donate to Blathers. I, I think I've done a lot here. This Everyone's exercising. And Chops is leaving. Oh yeah, my signs. Hold up, I had I bought some signs. I didn't know, and I customized some signs. I didn't really know where to put these. So check it out, these signs, uh, place item. So this would be like, yeah, look, that man, that takes up a lot of space. That takes up a lot of space. Uh, but that's not bad. Uh, but we know that Nook's Cranny is that way. If we're already over here. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. But like once we once we've come this far, we know that Nook's Cranny is over here, because it's just right here. <laughs> we almost need like a different sign. Like, uh like which would be better? Like, would you rather would you rather like once you're here, like, where's Abel? And you see a sign like, oh, Abel's this way. Or would you rather be here and be like, yep. Yeah, it's confirmed. Nook's Cranny is right over here. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know what the rules are. Also, the sign, though. I don't know if this is the right spot for it. But my idea was to put up some signs. But they're so big. They're not like Minecraft signs where you can just attach them to the wall. Yeah, so... uh, This would be like... Yeah, then the tailor's over there. Like, that's, I mean, those signs are good, I guess, but they're, they just seem like, here, let's, let's bring them down. Maybe down is the way to go. Of course, this is going to show you exactly what I was talking about, where uh, I can move it. That's a good, that's a really good placement for it. Honestly, it is. But, look at this one. I can't bring it down because of the rocks. And plus, you can't even really see it because of the rocks. Darn. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that's the uh, darn. I wish I could do something about that. That's like a perfect placement. This would be a perfect placement, like if you're here and you want to know that that. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I was just thinking about it. Like, uh, if we're talking, um, if we're talking, like we're here at Able Sisters, and we want to know where Nooks is, like the sign could point the other way, right? So we could put this uh, signpost. Which one? I don't even know which one this one is. 
that's that's the wrong one. We could put the signpost down here, and it'll be like, okay, great. So that's where Nooks is. So you're here, that's where Nooks is. And then if you're over here, I could put the sign uh, right down here. And that may not be bad. Of course, it, in it intrudes. Yeah. It doesn't really intrude, but you see what I'm saying. Here we go, push that over one, I think. And that, then that would line up. So yeah, that lines up. So you like, if you're here, yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I keep the signs or not? It's not really that confusing. <laughs> like, I don't I don't need the signs. They're only for decoration. <laughs> They're so big. I don't know. Anyway, have we done anything new today? Let's see what we got going on here. Uh, we, we did get something new. We got hoard reward. Heck yes. Hoarding furniture. Comparative sun sundries fan. Don't even know what that means. So yeah, that was my idea with the signs. Of course, I don't know that we actually need them. We may not need them. But they're, uh, I don't know. I think this one's fine, because there's no real way to get to the beach here. If I think of something to replace these, I'll replace them, but I don't know what to replace them with. Anyway, blathers, I think is what's next, right? I Yeah, I kind of like the signs. Again, there's nothing that can really go here either. I could put another wave breaker here, but I don't really want to. Anyway, uh, what were we gonna do? I could put a wave breaker there. That, would, that could be a cool thing. Like, I could take this one. I don't know. I don't know. I kind of like the three being here. Sorry. Change my mind again. Wave breaker. Place it. Boom. Everything's looking good. Does Anka still have on her... Um, I wonder... Chops is leaving. I'm so excited. I wonder if Anka still has on her... Uh, if he leaves, will his, will his house still be there? Baggy shirt. I don't even want that. Let's go over here. Uh, once per day. Thank you. Uh, nook shopping. Special goods for sale. A book. A telescope. And then uh, chino pants. I mean, I could maybe use some KK. D I think I have KK Dixie. In fact, if we check out uh, the stuff here, we got KK Dixie. Yeah, so I don't need to order that, thankfully. And then uh, all I would do then is check out uh, Nook Miles. And see what we got here. Lattice fence and stone fence. I have both of those. Um, I'm thinking about... I probably could use the... I, I could use this. I, I'm eventually going to be working on a farm. And so I'll get the silo. Recipe. There we go. And then uh, let's we'll make a donation to Blathers. No other selection. Thank you for your patronage. And then um, learn this. Huh? Okay. Sweet. I learned a DIY. Okay, great. I did, didn't I? Uh, and then what? What did I get from Nook's Miles? Oh yeah, redeem Nook Miles, which was good. At times five, so it's another thousand miles for spending. That's a great. That's a great reward. Spend five hundred miles, get a thousand back. Awesome. Okay. So, just out of curiosity, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's still three stars, but we'll see. And I don't care what she says after this, but what is my what is my island eval? Yes. Okay, three. It's still three stars. That's fine. That's fine. That's good. I can't I can't express how happy I am. And th I I've, and this is not an exact. I've never seen this exact courtyard anywhere before. It's just one that I came up with, and so I'm really happy with it. And other people have better courtyards than me. <laughs> but, or maybe they don't, now that I'm so happy with mine. Anyway, let's get a move on. I look fantastic. <laughs> I, I wear glasses a lot. I used to wear contacts mostly, but I found a pair of glasses that I really like. And I just haven't really looked back since then. <laughs> Hold on, we got a, another uh, moth or butterfly over here. Where did it go? Things can't just disappear that quickly. Gotcha. All right. Spread it on toast. So we gotta hit rocks. Uh, let's just start here. I would hate if this is a money rock and I didn't dig holes. So let's. We need to find the money rock. That's. Uh, I think that's crucial. 
I think. But we also, this is also a Nook Miles thing. Uh, just the regular one. I wonder when I'll find more gold. It's been a while since I found gold. There we go. And eventually, you know, the next thing to move, well, the next thing to do is to probably put in a bridge. Honestly. And that'll take up some time. Another one. Wow. These are so. These are like a thousand each, right? A thousand a pop. All right. There we go. And then, uh. This is it. This is the. My, this, uh, I didn't know. I was just. I was just trying to exude some confidence. But yes, this is it. For real. Awesome. My favorite thing in this game, bells. Which, by the way, if you want to keep up with my videos, be sure to click the notification bell. And then if it gets annoying later, you can you can unclick it. But for now, just click it. See what happens. <laughs> is Anka here? No. She is never... I, I never know where she is. Like, for real. Like, she is, like, the most mysterious character I have. She'll just be... No, there she is. <laughs> I was talk I don't want to talk it behind your back, Anka. I want to see if she's still wearing the Pharaoh's robe. No, she switched. But that's okay. It looked good on her for a while. There you are, Meow, and looking fabulous as ever, I see. Let's chat. My dear, isn't this weather divine? I tell you, clear skies like this make me feel like anything is possible. Awesome. Anything else you want to talk to me about? I hear that if you talk twice, you you know, you keep them happy but and you don't annoy them too much. I want to chat. My goodness, I just saw Gulliver sleeping down at the beach. I tried waking him, but he mumbled something about French toast and went back to sleep. That silly seagull, I confess, I'm a wee bit worried about him napping in a place like that. All right, I gotta go find Gulliver. I didn't realize he was here. I didn't even go to the beach yet. Here we go. Uh, and we're gonna have to find his parts, right? Hold up, there's a weed and a fossil up there. This is my this is like the daily maintenance phase of the island. Um, I'll probably from now on just do fossils off camera. We're gonna go see Gulliver in a second. I don't think I'm gonna do any editing in this episode. This has been pretty free form and pretty good. I think. Just my opinion. I'm thinking about elevating a lot more of my land. Uh, like a lot more. Like I'm talking like severe elevation. It's going to take a lot of inclines, though, and so I don't know how excited I am about the idea, but I came up with an idea, and I haven't seen anyone do it before. I've only been to, two, like, a, like, a few islands so far, so uh, we'll see. Oh, yeah, I put that over here. <laughs> I, I was here, and I needed to ditch an item. I was like, okay, I'll just ditch this one. All right, let's check out the beach over here. I already have the, uh, the ladder equipped. My my items all moved around, and I don't know why. I I added a picnic basket there. I thought that looked pretty swag. That's probably a sea bass, right? Where's Gulliver? There's a message in a bottle. Let's see what we can learn from it. Uh, I really wanted to make an item as like an homage to my fave pop star and came up with this recipe. A wooden full-length mirror. Nice. Alright, got it. There's a lot of insects out at this hour. It's a good time to play if you like catching insects. I guess I'll leave him alone. I gotta go to the other beach really quick. I assume, well, he might be down here, right? I got plenty of beach down here. I think I'm going to keep an open field for the beach, if that makes sense. Because I don't know what my other options are. <laughs> Let's find Gulliver. What if she was lying? <laughs> no, no. All right, nothing at the pier. I know I still got to catch a few at the pier. There he is. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. The, the waves. The waves are ugh, ready to pull noodles. Come on. Ugh. There he is, awake again. Oh boy, up we go. On your feet, sailor. This isn't our first mystery beach, and it won't be our last. Look, swallowed a lot of seawater. 
Come on, get it together. Talk to the local. Here we go. Hello, stranger. Is this your beach? Your stubborn commitment to shoving me awake tells me yes. Wait, I know you. You're... Rusty? No, you're Zack. Hey, how you been? As for me, I'm still trapped in a will-they-won't-they -they relationship with that flirty siren we call the sea. And due to an unfortunate accident that wasn't my fault, probably I'm shipwrecked. Yes, again. Does it count as shipwrecked if I don't know where the ship is? I should probably know this. Uh, I'll figure that out later. For now, I have to call my ship and summon another rescue. I'll just call for help using my handy... Yeah, we know. It's broken. It's broken. He's always surprised. His communicator is broken, so I gotta dig up, you know, parts. Probably. Here we go. That means I'll have to wait for my crew to find me on their own. But that'll take a while. And I'm skipping this as fast as I can. Uh, communicator parts. No. Oh, I said no way. Oof. I haven't received a cold shoulder this icy since my brush with the Snowmad fleet. Come on. You have to help. It's like wise old folks always say. <coughs> Excuse me. Do unto others. Something, something. The communicator parts are probably buried in the sand somewhere. I'm just missing five parts. If you'll find them, I'll try to cram them back in here. I'm sure my crewmates are looking for me, so I better stay here and watch for the boat. I'll leave the searching to you. I don't have much of a... So, so he's, so, <laughs> so he's going to just... Okay. That's fine. I, I'll get him. Do I have space for five parts? I do. Is there still one here? No, it went away, I think. Oh, I got one. There we go. It's one right here. How do you get rusty communicator parts? Oh, there's another one. Right there. And after this, I'll donate to Blathers. The big thing this episode, though, was definitely the courtyard being finished. I'm so happy with it. And Chop's moving out. Another happy thing. Very happy. Not as happy as when Eugene moved out of my New Leaf town. But, you know, there is some, some, uh, some happiness here. All right, there's another one. What happens if I if I take an extra one? You know what I mean? Like, will I then start getting rusty parts? Like, how do I get rusty communicator parts? I accidentally like recycled one of them, or sold rather. It wasn't really a recycling. There's one. There we go. I think I have five. Let me double check. Oh yeah, five. Let's see if I can get any more. I want to see if like like what happens if I try if I just at least try to get more you know what I'm saying come on I hear a balloon it's coming this way first up you're here <laughs> how do I miss oh my gosh fine I scared him a little bit, right? All of my tools are in different orders than I'm used to. There we go. A present for me. What does blue mean? The different color of balloons means different things. Uh, it is a cute chair. I doubt that. <laughs> I doubt All right. Yep. Yeah. There's a, just a regular old butterfly. I guess I'm not gonna have any more do it. I guess I might just have to turn these in. I'll sell these shells too, by the way. I was gonna see if any more would, oh, there's, actually, hold on, hold on. I'm just curious. Oh, um, I must've missed it. Oh, it's a clam. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Let's kick it up, kick it up, kick it up. Click the shell, give it to Gulliver what he asked for. Hey, did you find him? Uh, got him right here. I wonder what happens if I don't give him this. Oh, that's them. Those are definitely my communicator parts. Come here, you little troublemakers. All right. Ta-da. We, we know the story. All right, the pieces are crammed back in here. Let's see if this thing can send a message. Ahoy there, crew. It's me, your brother from another rudder. So listen, it, has, it happened again. Can you swing by to pick me up? Sending my coordinates now. Go over over and out. There, that should do it. He's going to send me a letter later, right? You're the best. Thanks for all of your help. I promise to return the favor. Be sure to check your mail in a few days. I'm going to send you something that will knock your flippers off. Just make sure you put some flippers on before you open it, okay? I, I kind of wish they added more dialogue to a lot of these options. Like, we see Gulliver, like, several times. I wish that, like, he had different dialogue, like, each and every time. Like, Nintendo, hire me. I'll write some dialogue. I'll write, like, a full... I'll write a full year's worth of dialogue for Gulliver. <laughs> if you want me to. <laughs> they probably don't want me to. But I would, I would do it. I'll do it for free. 
I'll do it for free. Oh, what's wrong, Deli? Are you want to move too? Hey, Zach, guess what? I've got something special for you today. It's a present. Here, take it. Is that a present? Some sporty shades. I hope. They, okay, yeah, I don't want. I don't want them. But thank you, thank you, thank you. Have I talked to enough people yet? I think I have. Uh, Cause I no. I one more. So let's claim this. No miles for hitting rocks. And if I talk to just one more person, then uh, yeah, we'll be good. Oh, there's there's a money tree from before. There's another balloon I hear, and I actually have a a mission to get a balloon. Talk of a fossil. Shake that tree here. There we go. And then, you know, I'm just gonna chop this down. <laughs> I'm just, I'm done with it. There we go. Dig it up. There's too many trees here. <laughs> I'll get that balloon very soon. There's a big fish here I'm gonna catch. Probably, I may not catch him. Wrong. So, who's trying to catch him? I'm, I'm trying to catch him. It's me who's trying to catch him now. That was perfect. Dang it. Here we go. All right, just a bass. I knew it. All these, I'll be glad with all the bass, 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 bass. What's the plural, bass? Basses. I'll be glad when all the basses are gone. This balloon is gonna take forever. Here we go. It's in my view. There we go, got it. And what is it? It is another present. Uh, let's see. It is a bamboo shoot lamp. Oh, I already know it. Darn. All right. All right. So, uh, let's see. One more person. Do you count? You know what they say about fishing, right? Well, please tell me because I can't catch anything. All right, that did count. For talking to him, we got more Nook Miles. Oh, chopping wood is, is one that we get. But you know, the, I, the, I, 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 this is what happened. I did a bunch of Nook Miles things off camera because I needed to buy some stuff for people. Uh, so I did a bunch off camera. All right. So, let's just talk to Blathers, donate whatever we have now. He can assess the two fossils we found. I know there's probably more fossils out there. But uh, the big, big thing, new courtyard. I think it's looking great, dude. Blathers. Who? Let's evaluate my fossils, please. It, assess. Assess the fossils. Why do I have to select them? Just I, I don't understand why you wouldn't want to assess all the fossils. You know what I mean? I guess maybe if you wanted to put the fossils back in the ground. Anyway. There you go. And I'll have a bunch of fossils to give to Ashley. Uh, make a donation. We got a couple things here to donate. We got uh, we got uh, this, which is the Stego tail, which he's already told us about. So we'll just confirm it. And then... Uh, oh, is it done? The Stegosaurus is complete. And I got that from Liz's place. The hot dog queen. Uh, no thanks. I don't need to hear anything about that. Oh, I need to build a bridge. Ugh. It's another testy decision. So, make a donation. Uh, here we go. A fly. I found a fly uh, on the can. I wish I would have caught these on camera. I don't even know where the other... Like, I wasn't even expecting the other fish. I was trying to catch a zebra turkey fish or something. Because I had, like, a mission to do it. Anyway, what a wretched thing. Alas, I'm obliged to ask. Would you like to learn more about this specimen? Please tell me. I see. In that case, <clears throat> the foul fly is quite the disquieting creature. I tell you, it tastes its food with its feet. Yeep! In fact, when flies rub their legs together, they do so to get rid of debris blocking their taste receptors. And did you know their hairy toes release a sticky goo so they can walk on any surface, even your ceiling? This gross goo gets on your food too. Any hoot, my sincerest thanks for your donation. All right. So let's do another one. Uh, make a donation. Marvelous. Uh, barrel eye. Right, here we go. This is a nighttime fish, by the way. Who? Woohoo! This is undoubtedly. Yeah. Tell me. 
Wonderful, I would love nothing more. The barrel eye is a deep sea fish with uh, protuberant eyes and a clear head, Some, so some of its organs are visible. At first blush, a transparent head seems absurd, but there is a reason, so it can see things directly above. But I must confess, the more I learn about deep sea fish, the happier I am to live on dry land. What? And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no. So I donated a bunch of stuff to Bladders. I got some stuff to sell to Timmy and Tommy as well. Uh, and then, I guess build a bridge, I guess? I mean, I should probably be having something under construction every day. With the rate that I'm going now at this, it's funny how my interest in this game has really ticked up. Like, like, I was inter interested in this game, like super pumped about it, and then I was playing it, and I was only doing about like, you know, investing about one episode, about one or two hours in the game a day. Now I'm doing like three or four hours a day in this game, and it's just like, it's just changed. Something's changed, and I, my interest has peaked. Yep, don't, don't look at me. <laughs> don't look at me. So let's sell a couple more things, because uh, we did get a couple more things, and I guess we'll do a bridge. Oh, <laughs> Zach, welcome, welcome. I want to sell. Oh, man, the bridge is going to be so hard to deal with. Um, Okay, I want to sell. I'm still thinking about the bridge. And my turner prices are high. So after this, I need to have people come over if they want. Paper kite. Uh, Plesio tail. Uh, sell. No, 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 no. What am I talking about? Uh, I don't like sporty shades. I best not sell the Manila clam. Street lamps I better not sell. Venus combs. Cute chair. I'll sell the clams. Why not? I always get more. Black bass. The flea. <laughs> you want a flea? Street lamp, street lamp. Street lamp. Okay, that's good. Everything here I'm selling. All right. Sold. Over 100K again, which I will spend in the form of a bridge. Now, if I have the bridge, so there's a couple things I want to try with the bridge. I, here's, here's the thing. And let me know if those signs are well placed. I don't know. The bridge is going to go about right here. But it's only two across, and this is a three wide path. And so, if we were doing it... Well, let's just see. Let's just start working here. Start construction. So I got a couple of ideas. So I'm gonna start laying down uh, the the path here, and then uh, I'll I'll be uh, we'll just edit it. we'll just edit to when I get the path over there. All right, guys, I'm back. It took me f absolutely forever to figure out what I wanted to do, and so the bridge is only two. <laughs> Honk is still here. Uh, the bridge is only too wide, so I decided to make the path too wide. I talked with a bunch of friends and uh, figured out exactly what I want to do, I think. I'm pretty sure. My other idea was to uh, space off the path and have it go upwards like this, and then and th then basically separate uh, the beach with a fence. I don't think I like this idea as much, honestly. Uh, I think it looks, I don't know, it, it kind of looks like a lot of stuff going on. Maybe that would be best, but for this particular area, I don't think so. I like having the beach just accessible. Like, you know, just immediately accessible, I think. I think that's what I like. <laughs> so, uh, that's what I have right now. Uh, and so I, you know, put some flowers here. This was uh, originally Chibi's idea. And then, uh, so I think I'm going to the right side. The right side looks best to me. That way I don't have to move any buildings. And uh, if I were to, like, add, you know, wider paths, like here, like having a two path with a with the buffer on each side that means I'd have to move both buildings over to do that the same thing for these so I think I'm gonna stick with uh, this idea like this I think this looks good and what that would mean is that the the path is gonna go all the way down here and eventually the bridge is gonna be boom right there she moved okay I can actually do something now here we go <laughs> let's see finally so so check this out I can put this down here put this down here and then it's time to build the bridge. Uh, so let's uh, actually build the bridge for once. Build it here. And uh, I don't think that's the spot. I think it's down one, maybe. Maybe I'm wrong. Build it right here. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Whew. Close. Uh, let me imagine it, though, just to double check. And I, I picked the Zen bridge, by the way. Uh, I think that looks good. I don't care that, that the texture, you know, the, the path changes. Because, I mean, that's how bridges work. You know, you don't have, like... 
wood everywhere and then suddenly a wooden bridge you know you often have concrete or something and then a wooden bridge <laughs> so uh, that looks good to me I'm gonna put it down okay here we go let's see if that and then we got to pay for it right well I took a lot of money out of the bank I didn't want to take so much out of the bank but I don't want my turn up my in my stock market dreams to to dash uh, you know to dash my progress here so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hello, good friend. Right now, I'm taking donations for Zen Bridge. Our goal is a lot of bells. Currently, we have zero bells, which is just lovely. Uh, so, yeah, if we could spare a single bell, yeah, sure, I'll help. I'll help. I'll do it all. As much as possible. There we go. Confirm. This bridge is done. We're moving on. I've decided to go with that. After next episode, that left side with the fences is going to be gone. So, just know that. That I decided to stick with this. And, uh, you know, it, this looks good for now. Um, I decided to put the sign up here because we have space. And so um, that tells you, like, hey, if you're looking for Nook, or if you're looking for Nook's Cranny, it's over there, right? And so I think this looks great. Uh, this looks wonderful. I'm going to redo the flowers here. Do I have the flowers on me? I do. So basically, uh, here's what I'm doing. Taking this up. Taking this up. These things are leaving. And check this. <laughs> this is taking some time. Hold on. And I don't know. And Chops is leaving too. <laughs> no, this was just a test. I was just testing this. And I'm actually growing a uh, a tree right here. I don't, I don't, please don't interfere. That's a money tree, right? He's checking out the... Uh, he's got one more day here. And then he's gone. kind of like him. <laughs> I kinda, he kind of grew on me. <laughs> Oh well, uh, let's not worry about that. And so, and then, uh, here, let me just pick this up too, because we're going to uh, clear the, not clear, but we're going to redo a lot of the path here and uh, get rid of some of the path over there. And I don't exactly know, you know, which, which way it's gonna go. But basically, uh, I'm gonna do this. And it's going to be like this all the way through, eventually. And I don't think I'm going to have... I mean, I might keep keep that. I don't know. Just kind of a cool little beach entry area. Just to say, hey, you can go this way. And I don't know if I'll... I, I don't think I'll even have a path up here. Uh, but th let's just say that this is it for now. And uh, so I'm going to... What did I do on this side? Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Alright, so I'm going to get rid of it there. Get rid of it there. And I think this looks good. I, I hope you guys agree. Uh, just let me know in the comments below if you have any other ideas, though. But I think this is looking quite quite good. So here we go. Put the this back here. Three flowers for the somewhat symmetry. And I'll do my best to... Uh, there you go. So there we go. Uh, this looks great. I now have a two path here. That means I can get rid of uh, get rid of this really quick. I already had it selected. So I don't know where the door. I mean, I know right now where the door is, but ultimately I don't know where the door is going to be. I think it's going to be like this. Eventually, this will expand, right? All right, and then uh, you know if you're just here. And you're wondering, uh, whoops, you know, where Abel, Abel is. There's going to be a sign right here that tells you. So, let's see if I can put that down here. Sewing project signpost. Dang it. <laughs> so, uh, okay. No, not sewing project. Hold on. Place it. Come on. There, there is room. You know there's room. Don't mess with me right now. I'm just going to, here, drop it. No. Dang it. Signpost right there. All right. Let's see how far back can I push it. No, nope, I don't even have that in my hand. Okay, here we go. Ta-da. And then that's where Abel is. In case you're wondering. Of course, I probably could have put it here, but I put that one over there. Just just so you would know. And there's a bench here. I, could, I guess I could just put a chair here. Just having a chair here would actually would work out really well. Then I could actually put the sign. I do have an iron chair, uh, but anyway, well, I'll think about that later. Thank you for watching. My courtyard is finished. I don't want to. I don't want to like keep thinking about it. it I spend like hours thinking about like positioning and stuff. Um, 
and this way uh, this way looks good and eventually this building will be moved up and I'll put flowers here or something I'll put something here um, we'll just figure it out we'll figure it out and uh, this looks good goodbye chaps we'll see him one, one more time tomorrow I'm Zach Scott subscribe if you have not if you like this video and want to help this channel grow all you gotta do is click the like button below thank you so much for watching you can now join and become an official member of Zach Scott games and if you want cool shirts like this visit Zach Scott dot shop.